Grumpy Old Henry the Pug and the Christmas Blues, written by K.M. Reed, illustrated by Penny Weber. Henry was a grumpy but clever old pug. He wandered the beach town, no one noticed him around. His face was all wrinkly, not the cutest sight. No matter what he tried to do, nothing turned out right. All the other pups turned the other way when they saw grumpy old Henry come walking by the bay. They were all plush and manicured pups, luxurious coats with the shiniest fur. They didn't want to be seen with the wrinkly old pug. To them, he was nothing just a great big blur. Grumpy old Henry just grumbled, who cares what they think? They don't know what they're missing. I'm cute as a wink. It's hot out here. I need a cool drink. Grumpy old Henry grew tired from his walk through the town. This is what he did all year round. He decided to stop at the ocean shore. Poor grumpy old Henry could go no more. Then he dug for a while to see what he could find, for there was nothing else for him to do always left behind. Grumpy old Henry sat and wondered why. No one said hi as they passed him by. Not even the humans noticed him there as he sat near the ocean, all lonely in despair. Grumpy old Henry started to play all by himself. He ran through the ocean and caught a big wave. He started doing things no other pup would do. Not only was he clever, Oh, he was brave too. Soon the bright sun started to set. Grumpy old Henry wasn't ready to go yet. He had nowhere else to go or no one to meet. It was just little old him and the quiet still street. He stayed a little longer to hear the seagulls as they dipped for the fish in the salty sea water. He thought to himself, I should make a wish. He wished that someday he wouldn't be so lonely, for he didn't intend to be such a grump. He really just hoped he'd meet a good friend. Grumpy old Henry decided to head back home to his broken down house with the roof falling down. As soon as he lay down to rest his head, the rain came pouring down and flooded his bed. Poor grumpy old Henry seemed out of luck. He found a newspaper and ran under a truck. He groaned and moaned, but nobody cared. They were all tucked away nicely in their plush little beds. When grumpy old Henry woke up the following day, he saw decorations going up throughout the town. And suddenly he began to frown. He had forgotten that Christmas was almost near. The thought of being alone was his greatest fear. Because he was so grumpy all the year round, now he will be blue the whole season through. The lights were all twinkling in the air full of joy. Every girl, every boy, every plush pup around excited that Santa would soon come to town. As grumpy old Henry walked the to town as he usually did, he noticed a sign pointing to Santa's Inn. He followed the sign and knocked on the door. Only plush pups in sight, not a pug, what a bore. As grumpy old Henry went further down the road, there was music and dancing and laughter everywhere. Poor grumpy old Henry just lay there and stared. Ha humbug, he uttered and turned away. Where Scrooge was a Grinch? Anybody please? I need a friend this Christmas time. I'm begging on my knees. Tell me one thing. Is there anything that you're missing? Grumpy old Henry went back to his broken down house and hung out with a silly old mouse. He wished and wished Christmas season was over as he pulled apart a four leaf clover. Grumpy old Henry decided to stay in his broken down house 
the rest of the day. He didn't come out for a day or two. Only for food and water, he was feeling too blue. The next day, Grumpy Old Henry noticed somebody new. It wasn't a human he saw every day. This was someone different, not from this town. She stopped and said hey and even hung around. Probably headed up north for some Christmas snow. Oh, how I wish that I could go. Hey, Mom, she said, isn't he the cutest little guy? All alone with that broken down house. Maybe he needs a new home. Maybe he could come with us. I would really love to have a pug this Christmas. Grumpy old Henry heard the good news. He waited to see what her mother would say. She turned around and asked, Are you sure? If we take him now, he will be yours today. <laughs> and there's no turning back. Forever he'll stay. Yes, I am sure. He's wrinkly and cute. And he looks so playful too. He will be the best Christmas gift ever. And I'll love him forever and <laughs> ever. Lily was her name as she stuck out her hand to pick up grumpy old Henry who was staring into her eyes. He was so happy he didn't know what to do. He just ran <laughs> and jumped into her open arms and he didn't mean any harm when he nipped her on her nose with his scruffy little toes. It's okay, she said. I understand. You've been living in this broken down house. How sad. And no one even seems to care. It's Christmas time and I'm here to share my love with you forever and <laughs> ever. Lily rescued Grumpy Old Henry from dismay. He even went for a pet spa day. The place where all the plush pups went. He didn't know that he would make such a hit. Lily put him on a red velvet coat so he could ride on the Christmas parade float. She found a crown to sit on his head. Oh, he was the best looking pup, all dressed up in red. All the other pups turned their heads in disbelief when they saw Grumpy Old Henry pass by. Is that Grumpy Old Henry? They quietly asked. He sure looks fine. Oh my, oh my. Grumpy Old Henry was no longer grumpy anymore. He held his head up high and looked up to the sky, for he was the happiest pug and as cute as a bug. Henry now had a family for life. No more lonely walks, no more broken house, no more nights alone, no more Christmas blues. Henry's Christmas wish had finally come true.